in the last video, we were trying to get our AI agent to express a desire to utilize a specific function as well as provide the parameters that the function is expecting. We ran into OpenAI guidelines when we asked the agent to launch a nuke at a random country. So we updated the description of the function as well as the function name, and we updated our request to match. So we said launch candy at a random country. And now we're going to find out if this works. Okay, so let's see what happened. Okay, so it's saying there was an issue with my API key. I'm going to check that for a second. All right, so I updated my key. Let's run this. Launch candy at a random country. Okay, and we got back undefined. So actually what we should be logging is not the function call because as we see, that can be undefined. Instead, let's just log the first item in the choices array to see what we're actually getting back. So I'll run this again. Okay, so over here, you can see that there was an issue because it responded in content. And the finish reason is stop. What we want is for the assistant to give us a finish reason of function call. And that would let us know that the assistant wants to call a function. But the assistant's response has a hint that we can use to iterate. So over here, it says, if you want to target a specific random country, I would need to integrate with the geolocation API to retrieve the coordinates of the country. So what we see here is that the, that our agent is aware of the function, but it thinks that it can't use it because remember the function is expecting coordinates. So what we have to do here is try different wording. And this is something that, that you're going to get used to as you work with large language models and attempt to integrate them into data pipelines or all kinds of projects that a lot of time and effort is spent on just iterating the way you're speaking with the LLM. So over here, instead of launch candy at a random country, I'm going to change it to pick random coordinates and then launch autocomplete is suggesting launch a missile at them but let's say launch candy at them so that we don't hit open ai's safety guideline issues and now command s and let's try to run this again okay and success over here you can see that content came back as null so with chatbots and similar uses of OpenAI's API, we're usually used to expecting a message back in content. But when the LLM is going to respond with a desire to call a function, content will be null. Instead, it will have a function call key, and it's going to say the name of the function to call. And it's going to provide the arguments that we told it the function is expecting. And also it's going to give us the finish reason of function call as opposed to stop. And as far as open AI goes, this is it. This is their function feature. It's not that they are going to call any function for us. It's that they are promising to return properly formatted function calls or properly formatted data that we can just count on it to be a specific structure and use that to call a function on our backend. Let's see how we could set up our backend to call the function with the provided arguments. So actually one thing that we have to do is over here, it doesn't make sense for us to add the assistant message to the messages array if the message is null because OpenAI is responding that it wants to call a function. So let's add a check in here. Actually, we shouldn't handle handling the response here. That's too much for this function. This function should just be responsible for posting the user message. What we should do actually is let's just return this and that we're going to delete and this we're still going to need, but only if the AI is replying with a text message and not with an expressed desire to call a function. So what we're going to want to do is kind of over here, if it's a function call, then we should call the function. And if it's not a function call, then we should push the message into the message array because it's a message response and we can extract it as a variable and we could also console.log it.